Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to save your usernames and passwords in Microsoft Teams. If your team uses multiple applications, they may find it difficult to keep up with all the different usernames and passwords. Fortunately, you can turn Microsoft Teams into a password vault by using an app called KeePass. You can add KeePass to a team by clicking the down arrow on the Add button, and selecting Add to a team. Then simply select which team you want to add the application to. Alternatively, head to Teams on the left. Then select the team you want to add KeePass to. Now hit the plus icon at the top. KeePass is already available for us, but you can easily search for it, and select the app. When you first install KeePass, you'll be asked to allow access. Once you've done that, choose a folder for your vault location. Select a folder, and click Use this folder. Then hit Save. We can now create a new password. At the top, enter the name for your password. This is used to identify which site the password is for. We'll call ours Trello password. In the login field, enter the correct username for whichever site or application you're saving credentials for. We're typing username as an example. In the password field, enter the correct password for the site or application. Re-enter the password to confirm it. Now enter the URL associated with your login credentials. In this case, we'll just enter Trello.com. You can also add some notes below, to further describe what these login details are for. When you're done, head up and hit save. To modify the login details, click the password name. Here, you can click the copy buttons next to the username and password. You can also share, edit, or delete the credentials. And with KeePass installed, you won't waste any more time resetting forgotten passwords. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.